I think, you know, in the Philippines, it's the, I find still the whole tech space quite interesting. I think the telcos here were much more innovative than was probably apparent to other telcos around the world. The, uh, I mean, the Philippines was the text capital um, of the universe, you know, before, um, well before any other countries were really even fully adopting it. And you see a lot of innovation from the, the, the telcos. I think people would complain and identify that we have some network issues, but um, still I think they're, they're quite innovative in, in how they're trying to evolve. I, th I see and have had a chance to see some of the VC, the venture capital space, so which is tied to that. I find that quite exciting. Um, I do believe that we're a bit behind other markets, but then in, in that respect it also means that you should see and begin to see a fairly um, uh, sizable push into this market as models are developed elsewhere and then brought to bear here. So I find that, and that's going to be quite innovative and quite interesting, and particularly when you combine that with the fact that the, the Philippines middle income uh, is, is growing, the uh, uh, middle income community and the size of it as part of the economy is, is, is growing, and it's a young economy, it's a young country, 60% uh, uh, 62 percent are less than 30 years of age you know and that's and uh, gonna really sort of speaks to a swell of a young consumer class um, in the country that is going to be sort of tech based and so you combine the venture capital with the the forces at work in the economy it's pretty interesting from an investment perspective you have to have clear rules. You have to have clear uh, rules of, of um, engagement and interaction and operations in industries and sectors. You, you, if you don't have clear rules of engagement um, and enforce those rules, you introduce enormous amounts of uncertainty for investors. Well, I think the investment climate looks good. I mean, especially you know, what are some of the factors near term, at least you've seen what's happening with interest rates. So that makes money um, inexpensive to, to raise. Uh, you have a program around infrastructure that you know will uh, you know the country needs the infrastructure. There's a program laid out to build that infrastructure. If those programs go go through, you're going to see an enormous amount of sort of fiscal impetus and stimulus into the the economy. Not only from an expenditure perspective, but from what it enables in terms of growth. So you know, if that program gets moving, uh, and there's a lot of indication that it, that it will, even though it's been slow to start, you, you really put the country on a trajectory to capture a lot of the, in fact, you know, uh, hidden potential, or maybe I shouldn't call it hidden potential, but capture the potential that's in the economy. I really do think Honestly, that transportation issues, urban planning, how we lay out our cities is an incredibly important topic. You, if you get off on the wrong direction, you have a very difficult time reversing field. You, if a city's not laid out in an intelligent manner, if the basic grid isn't there, if, um, if you don't have the ability to move people and product and, um, uh, inputs and raw materials and bring fresh produce out of Baguio or you know bring materials from the ports or from the airports and move it relatively easily if you can't get you know people who are looking for employment into the areas where the jobs are and get them out again relatively easily you, you have an enormous amount of inefficiency you lose enormous amounts of productivity and you create huge disincentives to even to work let alone to invest. And you know, if, you, if you're setting up, for example, a, you know, an operational logistics operation and you have to be too far south or too far north, or say if you're setting up a farm and moving that product, or even setting up, again, back to energy, setting up uh, renewables, you know, the further you are from the transmission grid, the more you have to put in place. So we've got a lot of growth. You look around, you see what's happening in Global City, certainly much better than what's happening in other areas, but still we got transport congestion issues and they continue to improve it and work on it. But getting out ahead of that, as you think about um, you know, continued influx of people to come into cities, um, that's to me the key.
Well, maybe if I take that question slightly differently and ask what could we be doing to help promote the small and medium enterprise of the small business community. One of the things that UBP, Union Bank, is doing, which I find really compelling, and uh, uh, is they're setting up a model by which they can support smaller rural banks who may be either deficient in deposits or deficient in loan opportunities and, uh, uh, and be able to work with them to develop loan products or develop deposit products and be able to better serve the communities in which they're operating, which tends to be small business, help them put the credit underwriting engine in place to be able to more effectively, more efficiently price loans, assess credit risk and price loans. And if you think of that in a larger context of financial inclusion, that what is the biggest constraint on small businesses uh, is that they do have trouble getting access to credit. And they get, to ac get trouble getting access to credit because of information. Uh, uh, and, um, and some of them also operate in communities where there are credit constraints. So if you think of an institution of the standing of Union Bank being able to work with a dozen or two dozen or three dozen smaller banks in an area and provide them the overall technology layer as well as the um, s access to the settlement and clearing system, access to surplus funds, access uh, or to buy off their loans and give them funds to continue lending. You could have a huge impact on the availability of credit through that model. So that's not so much at the ground level of individual SBUs, but it's really one of the critical enablers of SBUs, which would be credit.